Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to find the LCM using the prime factors method. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here. We want to find the LCM of 50 to 100 using the prime factors method. First, I have to identify what the prime factors of each of these numbers are. Start with 50. 50, well, 2 goes into 50 25 times, and 25 is broken down to be 5 times 5. So 50 can be written as 2 times 5 times a 5. Again, 5 times 5, 25, times 2 is 50. Now what about 100? Well, 100 here, oops, put another 0. 2 goes into 100, well, how many times? 50 times. So we have 2 there, times, and then 50 is, well, we just found it, 2, 5, and 5. So we have 2, 5 times 5, right there. So again, 2 times 2 is a 4, times 5 is a 20, times 5 is 100. Got it. So the prime factors method here, kind of, well, we kind of make them into columns here, and I kind of wrote it a little slanted, but it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, to be honest. We go through left to right. We line up with the same factor here of each number. We only write it once. So these twos come together. We will write one, two here. There's no more twos in the 50. So we bring the two down from here, right there from 100. Fives comes together, one five down here. These fives come together, one five down there. Now, hopefully you recognize what two times two times five is times five is. We just did it and that's 100, right? Again, 5 times 5 is 25, times 2 is 50, times 2, 100. And so, the LCM of 50 and 100 is 100. And this can happen sometimes that, well, the LCM of two numbers is one of the numbers itself. Hope you learned something here on how to find the LCM using the prime factors method. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and spread the word. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.